Hey, hey, hey! Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 18th, 2020. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had kind of a uh, volatile day with the market uh, gapping substantially lower after disappointing retail sales continued to push those bears. We saw a fill of Monday's big vaccine related gap. And then the bulls went back to work as they intraday whipsawed an awful lot of charts. So this morning, we are seeing those bulls trying to push through again. What does that mean for today's open? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, get comfy in those office chairs, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. Well, this morning, guys, what we see in this market is really not all that unexpected. We see the bulls fighting for a Dow 30,000. Institutions are not allowing um, us to continue to sell off. Um, we don't care. We don't care about COVID numbers. We don't care that our national death rate hit a new record high yesterday. We don't care that retail sales are starting to show an impact. And we don't care about the higher than normal um, unemployment in the country. We want 30,000 in the Dow and the bulls are pushing for it. And if you take a look at our chart this morning, you can see futures are pushing for a higher open despite some mixed results in earnings that we've seen so far today. We'll talk about that in just a second. But kind of interesting as we continue to push and drive and force this market to that 30,000 target. They don't want to waste those hats that they already have printed. So um, we're working for a Dow 30,000 um, in the market. And we're not going to let the details of the economy um, or rising COVID numbers um, and shutdowns around the country dissuade us from reaching that goal. So take a look at what we've got going on here. If we take a look at the technicals of the chart, uh, price action first here, as you can see, so far we um, are showing lots and lots of bullishness, holding on to these price support levels, um, refusing to let it go. Although we did dip yesterday and um, fill that gap of Monday, we're pushing right back up here this morning, and it looks like we're setting ourselves up to just drive on through to that 30,000 record to grab that um, headline. Now, I don't know what happens after that. It could, 30,000 could serve as a just a brick wall for us to try and get through, or we could pop right on through it. Again, just but we don't care about any of these things as we drive forward. There was news yesterday that we're still a long ways off in Congress um, for getting some stimulus. I think everyone believes and knows that we will eventually get some kind of stimulus, but the deadlock there um, in Congress makes it um, um, harder to, or is making it very difficult to get those negotiations to complete and get things done. A lot of hard headed attitudes um, um, fighting each other there in Congress. So while that delays, we're, we're even ignoring that. That doesn't really matter um, at the moment. Let's take a look at our um, um, technicals here in the chart. Um, and notice that our 50-day moving average is still a long ways from catching up here in the chart. Although it's rising pretty sharply, we are a long ways from catching up in that we are very extended in this move. In fact, I would say extremely extended in this move, which makes it kind of risky if you chase stocks that are already well within their move, those stop losses can be a long ways away. And if we were to happen to get some kind of news, um, it would not be a surprise like we saw yesterday, that big overnight reversal that could come or happen at any time. So be careful on that chase. Make sure you're buying positions that are at or near price support levels um, to protect yourself in case that shift would occur. Um, we'll want to watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also um, 
powering back up this morning. We came through, we filled the gap yesterday with that push down. Bulls went back to work to support the market and we're continuing to drive higher. Let's um, also recognize that we have yet to break out up here. Um, the Dow made that breakout, but the SPY hasn't been able to do that and we're pushing for a retest of that high print and possibly that breakthrough. Technically speaking, on the price action here, we're holding up very, very strong. Notice that we found price support in that gap fill right off of this level and showing that bullishness this morning, pushing higher. Notice also that we are very extended away from our moving averages as we continue to push and shove and do everything possible to move this market up but also notice that potential risk if we do get that shift to the downside watch that close remember markets don't go up forever we do have a sell-off or a selling wave on the way we can expect that when it occurs i don't know but be prepared for it then let's take a look at the cues. Now the NASDAQ is not showing quite as much bullishness, bullishness here this morning. NASDAQ is a little bit more muted here. And notice that we have some price action technicals here that we should take a look at. We've broken this downtrend and we're trying to prove that we can hold that as support. Yesterday we had a little bit of pullback, not near as much reaction as we saw in um, the Dow and the SPY. And, you know, that's not a surprise because we didn't get near as much reaction on that Monday uh, vaccine news um, as well. So watch this closely in here as we push back up and we work to reach up here towards some resistance highs in the chart. Notice we still have that big Monday or um, that big vaccine news gap up high of last week that is still kind of an imposing big black candle out there that we're trying to recover in the chart. It is technically important to also recognize that we are in a much better position with our moving averages than we are in the diamonds in the SPY. In the fact that we have never really extended this, super extended it, away from that 50-day moving average like we have in the diamonds in the SPY. But we still run that risk of that possible overnight reversal or bad news that can push us down, and that would be a substantial move back to test that area if that were to occur. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, although we pushed back and we filled that gap, we just immediately saw those bulls jump back in and start to power um, higher. So yesterday we pushed back up um, to a um, a new record on the day, closing at a new record high in IWM as those small caps continue to gain lots of energy as we're kind of seeing that rotation continue out of tech and into uh, more of the value type plays in the market. And this morning we're looking to extend that again to a new record high in IWM at the open. So watch that closely. Bulls have re-engaged. We're pushing for those, that 30,000 number in the Dow. Let's take a look at the VIX. Interestingly enough, yesterday the VIX had a little bit of back and forth. And even though we responded substantially um, higher after filling that gap, we really didn't see fear drop out of the market here, holding in there around that 22 handle and continued to hang on to its 500 day net uh, moving average. Now this morning we could see with this bullishness, we could see that possibility that we'll finally break that 500 day moving average if fear is going to drop out. Let's watch that pretty carefully and just realize we kind of need to see that happen. It's hard to, it's hard to imagine um, because I have never seen this. I have never seen new record highs in the market where we're still holding on to um, 22 levels in the, um, in the VIX. So we need to see that fear dropping off to gain some confidence here overall. If, if we really are confident enough to drive this market higher, 
why is fear so high so watch that closely now if we were to bounce off of that level once again i'm going to repeat this from yesterday even if we were to bounce off that level i would expect a rally back into this downtrend area here to provide some resistance and price resistance right through here to provide that resistance to push us back lower so even if we do get some selling i'm not sure it's going to be all that major um, in the market Let's take a look at T2122. This is still and remains my biggest concern um, overall is that we are extremely overextended, overbought in this market. And we continue to press up here. Yesterday uh, during our sell-off, we pushed down into here. Um, and that's about as far as we were able to go, showing that there are a lot of stocks in this market, very, very extended. But again, none of that seems to matter right now in this relentless push for that 30,000 target. We're just ignoring anything that tries to stand in our way and pushing really hard to bring those bulls in. So watch this up here. We continue to show very extended uh, conditions here and that possibility that any bad news report Anything that shocks the market could quickly reverse this. So watch that close. We should expect at any time a pullback or a longer term consolidation to begin. So um, just kind of keep that in mind as you plan your risk um, as we kind of slide into this weekend and heading into the holiday week of Thanksgiving. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we do have a couple things that we want to pay attention to and a bunch of Fed speak going on today. Excuse me, I picked up another window here. And as you can see, um, we've got the housing starts number in permits this morning right now consensus is suggesting a modest improvement in that housing has been very strong and that could help inspire those bulls this morning we're going to ignore bad news but we're going to going to buy heavily on any good news and um, we have the petroleum status number today we'll want to watch that closely obviously the petroleum um, industry has seen a major surge here recently in hopes of that recovery and we'll want to watch that closely if this were to show some kind of surprise build in supplies that could negatively affect that oil sector if it were were to show us a surprise a decline in supplies then um, that could help inspire those bulls to push on higher um, remember we still are um, uh, going to see lots and lots of fed speak today and as you think about um, um, what you're holding and the risks of what you're holding, thinking about going into Thursday. Remember, we have those jobless claims, Philly Fed and existing home sales. Those are all market movers uh, for Thursday morning that we'll want to pay attention to. Let's take a look at um, um, some what's going on on that earnings calendar this morning um, about 30 companies reporting earnings and we've seen a little bit of a mixed results um, Lowe's um, as you can see Lowe's reported a, um, a pretty good earnings report but just they fall just short fell just short of expectations and you can see Lowe's is getting heavily punished here this morning looking for about six and a half seven percent decline at the open and you can see we've developed this downtrend here in Lowe's that could also have a negative effect on the Home Depot uh, materials sector in the market so watch that closely and notice that we um, now have a full-on failure here at the 50-day moving average here in Lowe's this would suggest that we will eventually start working our way down to that 200 day moving average in lows so watch that closely and then on the other hand on retail we had target this morning um, report very strong earnings and we popped up we're popping up here substantially this morning and we're retesting some um, all-time highs here in target trying to break out here this morning by the way this is the pre-market candle so we're gapping up here substantially this morning on target trying to reach out here and break out on those uh, numbers retail 
has put in some pretty good reports here lately. So keep a close eye on that. Other reports that are notable today that we might want to keep an eye on. If, if you want to see the full list, make sure you click that link just underneath the title of the video today. And that will take you back to the morning blog where I've listed some of those notables that we'll want to be paying attention to. A few of those that we'll want to watch carefully here are uh, CPRT. Oops. CPRT Cop Art will be reporting today. Let's keep a close eye on that. We're going to see LB. Now I've been talking about LB a lot in this pattern here and that's continuing to rise and it looks like we're trying to extend just a little bit more this morning to the upside breaking out in LB. We also have um, uh, Nuance uh, reporting the, today, so keep a close eye on that. NVIDIA, um, which typically port, reports after the bell, will want to be paying attention to that. NVIDIA just camping out here right above its 50-day moving average, trying to show bullishness, um, holding that um, average. But we do have to recognize the, the problems that we do see technically in that chart um, we need a good report if we're going to inspire this higher and it could be heavily punished if it just misses by a little bit so watch that we're also going to see um, re um, earnings from um, tjx today tjx looks like we've already got those earnings this morning and we're moving substantially higher in tjx nice strong pattern there today so retail holding up quite well We'll want to keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these um, videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. And hopefully you're seeing these videos might be a little bit different than what you might get as a regular diet out there on social media. And that is lots of hype and prediction and all those kind of things. I try to avoid that completely, just looking at the tacticals and trying to decide how I want to approach the market for the day. So if you find that helpful, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, comment and um, uh, feel free to share this video on any of your social platform to help us to continue to grow. And once again, I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who does do that. Honestly, you humble me every day with the kind words um, that are left behind on uh, these videos. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And, and we saw a lot of stocks responding back substantially yesterday after some quick sell-offs. So there are quite a few to potentially look at. One of the areas that you know I've kind of been focused on and I've talked about uh, quite a lot here lately is copper. Take a look at SCCO. SCCO, a little bit of a gap down yesterday, responded back strongly. Copper showing lots and lots of strength here, pushing up in the chart. And as you can see, very bullish right now, pushing out here toward its trend, showing that bullishness, looking like there may be some more upside opportunity in SCCO. Take a look at FCX. FCX also responded back nicely yesterday. Didn't get quite as much gap down and it looks like it is trying to break out and push on higher now depending on where you mark this trend um, this this may need a little bit more rest or pullback before it really takes off or we are steepening that trend here in the chart and um, we're ready to fire up and go even higher so watch fcx and copper um, at the same time take a look at stocks like uh, other metals like alcoa aluminum showing lots and lots of strength here breaking through um, resistance levels in the chart substantial resistance levels in the chart and pushing up um, into um, uh, kind of a bigger consolidation area, but showing lots and lots of, lots and lots of bullishness. We saw some gap downs yesterday in steel, 
but notice that we responded back strongly yesterday and we're pushing higher this morning. Steel uh, producers like um, US Steel here looking very bullish and notice we're trying to break through and hold these um, new levels in the chart pushing on up keep an eye on that um cliffs um uh, cleveland cliff um, um another steel company showing lots and lots of bullishness on, in this chart pushing in these trends breaking through resistance levels and looking higher seems to be very very strong on that metals front except for gold and silver even though we saw it, we are seeing the dollar decline gold and silver continue to suffer here right now and as a matter of fact these actually set up in a possible shorting pattern here in the chart notice that we've pushed back up into some price resistance here in the chart and now we're seeing that failure starting to occur if we drop through this level of support gold may have some downside here so watch that close um, let's take a look at some other stocks that performed really well yesterday considering the volatility of the market take a look at roku roku held up nicely yesterday pushing on through now i still think there's a possibility that roku may do a little bit more backing filling over here into the trend before it gains that energy to really pop out but let's watch that closely it's set up it's looking pretty good we're going to want to watch that one closely on the uh, bearish side of things i'm going to continue to mention twitter twitter continues to struggle here um, it it kind of had a little bit of a battle in front of congress yesterday um, this is below its 50-day moving average showing that stress here just not able to get that fired up to the upside we're going to want to watch that carefully for that possibility of drifting lower um, take a look at nike nike pushing on through again retail stocks showing lots and lots of strength here um, and as you can see nike putting in a nice little break of a inverted head and shoulders pattern here on that chart break of the neckline and pushing higher so any rest or pullback in here that holds this area as support would give us an upside opportunity um, in that chart um, watch that closely also take a look at stock some of our shippers like fdx fedex had a little bit of volatility in here but notice we've broken this downtrend now and we're pushing on through in this chart and once again that possibility of that little bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern trying to break here and show bullishness and we know in covid land a lot of these stocks are doing quite well um, in shipping just because everyone's buying online so there's a few things for you to look at and consider um, as you're checking out those charts i want to wish everyone a fantastic day today i want to wish you great Great success in your trading and once again please click those subscribe buttons if you haven't and we will see you right back here bright early Thursday morning be safe out there watch this COVID stuff it's not to be messed with y'all take care we'll talk to you soon